Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here, and this is why you should choose a dehumidifier that has a drain hose like the one I've got over there. It's got a drain hose option. I could use the bucket if I wanted to, but what a lot of people may fail to think about, and you know, nothing wrong with that. I mean, you're probably like I was when you were shopping for a dehumidifier. You never really had the need to purchase one, so you, you know, like most people would do, okay, you know, what's the square footage that it'll work in? And you don't take the drain hose into consideration. The reality is, if you get a dehumidifier, but you don't get one with a drain hose, then you're gonna have to dump that bucket. And depending upon the amount of humidity in your space, especially if you've got a basement like I do that's you know rather humid at times, well, it was humid before I put the dehumidifier in here, but if you don't have the drain hose, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to dump, pull it out, dump the water out, that uh, bucket of the dehumidifier periodically. And depending upon how much moisture you have, that potentially could be more than once a day. So in a situation where you're not at home and able to do that, then the bucket will fill up, and when the bucket's full, the dehumidifier is going to turn off because the bucket's full. So for that reason, a dehumidifier with a drain hose option like the one I've got, and by the way, expand this video's description, and then click the link there, and you can find where to order it online. Like the one I've got, it's got a drain hose. Now, you do have to have a drain, which I do have a drain. I've got a drain in my basement, so I don't have to deal with the bucket at all. Now, in a situation where you may not have the convenience of having a drain, what you could do, you could get a dehumidifier like the one I've got with the drain hose, and maybe you've got a larger bucket. You know, if you know that, you know, you're, uh, you, you may not be able to dump it as frequently as it needs to be, then if you had a really large bucket, you could use the drain hose and drain into that. Keep in mind though, if you're using the drain hose with an external bucket, not the built-in bucket, that that uh, dehumidifier is not going to know if that external bucket be becomes full. So don't just assume that, oh, I've got a big, uh, huge bucket and I'm just going to drain into that. No, that could be a dangerous mistake because if you fail to dump the huge bucket, then it's going to start to flood and that could create problems. But if you've got the ability to drain, if you've got a place where you can use a dehumidifier with a drain hose, that's the way to go. Not just, you know, even if you're able and willing to dump a dehumidifier's bucket potentially more than once a day, you may find that the convenience of using a drain hose and not having to dump the dehumidifier's bucket at all is a lot more convenient. Now, I know that would be my preference and it is my preference and that's why I've got my dehumidifier that's got a drain hose. Hope this video helped. Again, you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find the dehumidifier like I use. Not only does it have a drain hose, but it's got Wi-Fi connectivity and I can monitor it through my app. And check out my separate video where I review the dehumidifier like I use. And I'll flash up a YouTube card so you can find a link to that video. Thanks for your viewership. If you got questions, comments, comment below and I'll try my best to post a video response. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.